front of Voodoo Forge. Real quick, I wanted to show y'all how to make a steak flipper, meat turner. I have heard these called a million things. I'm going to stick with steak flipper. But essentially, uh, it, it we start off with uh, 18 inches of 3-8 square stock, which you don't have to use um, that particular material. But that's what I start off with on this one. You, you bring it down to a point and then taper it around it, make a hook, and put a handle on it, and I put a decorative twist in. And you can use it on the grill to pick up steaks, pork chops, chicken, uh, not hamburgers, but other grillable things, and flip them. Uh, they're re uh, really popular, they're a really good seller, so let me show you how we do this. Here's what I used in my meat flipper project. I've got uh, 18 inches of 3-8 square stock, uh, two and a half pound straight peen hammer. Now, if you don't put a twist in it, this is all you need with a forge and an anvil to do the work, it is these two. You can do every bit of it with a hammer. But I put a twist in this one, so with that, you get a little, little shorter, um, uh, length of steel sticking out of the forge, so a pair of 3 8 tongs. Uh, if I had just worked the ends to put a, a handle and the flipper on, then I, I wouldn't have needed tongs, but with the twist I did. So 3 8 tongs, twist and wrench uh, with a vise for the twist, and because a, a twist of some kind just get a little hinky, a wooden mallet. Gonna bring it to a point real quick. Notice I'm only hitting two sides. As I'm hitting the top, the anvil's hitting the bottom. So, got to a point. Start drawing it out.
is from my point of view. If it is for a left-handed person, you have your hook go to the right. If it is for a right-handed person, hook goes to the left. Okay, so we're doing it for a right-handed person. So to the left. Looking straight in here, this is a right-handed meat turner. This is a left-handed meat turner. So it, if you're holding it, a right-handed one, if you're holding it in your left hand, the, um, the hook is always facing inwards, whether it's a right or left-handed one. So that's the, 
the easiest way to to keep up with that. Here's the finished product. The twist could have been a little more centered in the shaft, but it doesn't really matter. At this point, I've wire brushed it. I will wipe it down with some vegetable oil. Uh, try to use food safe oils when you're making things for cooking and explain to your customer to treat it like cast iron, just wipe it down with cooking oil when they're done using it. Make sure it has a coating of that on it. Okay, y'all, that's it. That's, uh, that's all there is to these. Now, something to keep in mind, I used 18 inches of 3-8 square stock. You don't have to do that. You can, um, you can use round stock. You can use uh, shorter pieces of large stock and draw it way out. He makes some really nice steak turners out of uh, railroad spikes. He, he draws it way out real long, just a big long taper, and uh, puts a twist in the, in the handle. So, just like any, any of my other videos, anything else I, I've shown you in blacksmithing, this is just another tool to add to your arsenal. Um, you don't have to make it the way I make it. Uh, once you've got that, is the key part, the flipper part. Once you've got that down, the hook, then you can do anything you want to from here on back. Whatever you think is, is going to be cool and, and whatever your customer thinks is going to be cool. So anyway, uh, that's the steak flipper. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, there's several of them on the channel. Subscribe, like the video down there, that helps me out. And uh, y'all behave yourselves.